Okay, guitar cats, or should I say car cats? Uh, that's what we got today. Cats in cars, cocktail bars. They have so woman, so alone. That's it. They're munching, crunching on the. Uh, I don't think that's the dash. But uh, they're trying to squeeze the little heads under the windshield. You can hardly get in there. Look at that. So cute. Oh, look at this one come. Come on, little cute. You can do it. You can do it. So to save money and not stop at hotels, $100 on average a night. <clears throat> and then there's pet charges and stuff. So pet friendly, you're happy to charge you extra. Um, extra pet deposit, too. So... We avoided that last night, basically slept at the truck stop. I threw that green bag down and laid across the front seat. It wasn't really too bad. I was really just doing some side sleeping. I didn't stretch out a lot, but I did get a good hour or two, a couple hours of deep sleep is all I need. And we're gonna get on the road. We're a thousand miles in, we're in like Wyoming. So we passed Cheyenne. I don't even know where we are. We got about a thousand miles in on almost a 3,000 mile journey, so I might as well show myself. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's been tough going. Basically, all kinds of nightmares with going to the bathroom. We had them all escape multiple times and run because they're outdoor cats, so they go to the bathroom outdoors. They don't. They do litter box if there's one for them. But they're cute. Uh, believe me, they'd love to be out running all day. They're not liking being cooped up in the car. They're fighting. Tensions are high. They want to, you know, they're scared. They want love. They want to come be on my lap, on my face, on my head, on the steering wheel. You know what I mean? On the dashboard. They're just always in the way. They're in the wrong space. It's funny how, I don't know, I seem, as I get older, I can manifest like, instant manifestations so basically if i imagine the worst happening it happens uh <laughs> very cute so down there i got some peed on blankets on the floor hopefully they're gonna continue to pee on those blankets they were getting them up here uh where the jacket is the jacket's vulnerable if they pee the jacket it'll probably absorb most of it underneath it is my amp which is probably washable plastic and look she wants out i went out i went out Ah, ah. So cute. That's patches number three for those who's uh, keeping count. Right? So we got plenty of room in the back, but yet most of them want to be in the front when I'm driving. I guess bringing their food and welcoming them up there. They're not really getting it. Like they could go up there when I'm not moving, but when I'm driving, they can't come anywhere near the driving area. They just want to crawl under the pedals and under my feet and get in trouble. So, no bueno, and I mean, I think we're halfway to working it out, right? Like, nature works itself out. I was like, look, I'm just gonna try to drive as far as I can, and we'll figure out the bathroom thing, right? And they figured it out. They just pee wherever the heck they wanna pee, and poo wherever they wanna poo. Look, scratching behavior. Don't you do it. Don't pee on my jacket. Don't pee on my jacket. All right, gotta go. Peace, check in with you guys the next one. I don't want her to pee on the jacket. 